Chris Lewis, navigator on board Law Connect. Um, you've just been through the compulsory weather briefing. You've obviously got your head around that for your boat particularly. But yeah. more generally, what do you see coming out of that and what's happening to the various models? Uh, well, the models have been really bouncing around quite a bit. And it's fairly unusual, I think, to have such little agreement on the models this close into the race. So there's a lot of the chips that need to fall. And I think in particular what I found interesting is the models were not only not consistent with each other, but they weren't even consistent with themselves from run to run. And a part of that is the function of the cutoff low at the uh, upper atmosphere um, hasn't fully developed. And as that coalesces, then the models get better around um, shorter range forecasts, because otherwise it's an incredibly difficult forecast for the, for the models to handle. In, in a forecast like this, where there's a lot of cells that can develop, there's no model that's really going to do a good job of predicting, like, you're going to have a cloud exactly here and it's going to come chucking down rain. So um, it's really important not to get too mesmerized by the, by the models. I thought it might be interesting just to use Predict Wind just to help people sort of understand the kind of issues that everybody in the fleet is wrestling with a little bit here. Yep. Dale, if you wanted to sort of move around, I don't know how well you can see that. But if I can sort of show you here, if I may, so this is pretty much on, um, uh, on race start. And uh, we've got Sydney in here and quite a lightish band. And as we said, you know, southeast, northeast, maybe going southwest. Um, obviously, one presumes that this big stream here, which gradually sort of starts to fade as you go that way, is, is important to you guys as well. So while you've got current along the coast, you're presumably still wanting to get out into some of this, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I mean, just in terms of the color references, purple's yeah, bad, purple's not very much, slow, not much slow, wind. Right, uh, and, and green is, is a little bit yeah, better, yellow, a, we're happy, sorry. and red, you're ripping. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, that's exactly what I was mentioning earlier, that yeah. you know you do have the good tide going along the coast, but this looks pretty appealing as opposed yeah. to sitting in the parking yeah, lot quite. up against You've the got, coast. We wind forward sort of, you know, uh, and obviously as we go forward, we're the sort of into the first 48 hours. Oof. So that's sort of beginning to really look uh, ropey up against the sort of Victorian coast there. And yep. this easterly stream here is really beginning to sort of lose effect, isn't it? And mm -hmm. so presumably for you guys, the big guys, it's the Bass Strait crossing is pretty critical. It always is, of course, but that's going to be quite an issue for you. And presumably then hopefully you still have enough to be coming back down the Tassie coast, yeah? Yeah. For the guys who are in the back end of the fleet coming back in yeah. here, um, we're sort of in, it goes very wide sort of here. But then once you're into Thursday, it's really full ball from the south, isn't it? Sort of southwest, yeah. which is a pretty mean piece of... Um, breeze from that direction as well of course so they're going to get fairly heavy duty towards the back end of the fleet so yeah and the, i think the thing about all of this though is um you know all of this is highly dependent on that upper level low the and then yeah. the low will spin off these little lows and it's a question of their exact positioning and movement and so this is the kind of stuff that can change dramatically because um unless you are fast enough to have the ability to move with respect to the low, then the low kind of dictates what happens to you. Yeah. And so, you know, it may very well change for, yeah. for the smaller boat. Thank you very much indeed, and all the best for working your way through this particularly tricky um, scenario, and we'll see you down here. Right on. Thank you. Okay.